The Arizona Nutcracker, a classic Hollywood performance that you shouldn't miss. And joining us to tell us more about it is Kimberly Lewis and Maddie Nash here. And Kimberly, we were just talking. We go way back, we? Don't go we go way back to the Phoenix Suns dancer days. Yes. yes. But this performance goes ways back, too. 23 years? This is our 23rd wow. year of doing the Arizona Nutcracker. This is amazing. And what's so great is that these ladies grow up to move forward in what they do. Like Maddie here, we're going to talk to you in just mm -hmm. a second, but right. let's talk about the performance and how people can see, see it, of course. Well, we have our performances that are coming up on Saturday, December 17th at 1 and 7 p.m. and Sunday the 18th at 1 p.m. And what's wonderful about our Nutcracker, it's the only one in the entire country performed by children ages 3 to 18. Wow. And following both 1 o'clock performances, we have a special guest. Santa Claus comes out on stage. <laughs> All of our queens, the Nutcracker and Mouse King, they go out in the lobby of the beautiful Madison Center for the Arts theater and they sign autographs and take pictures so it's just a wonderful nutcracker for the entire family to enjoy yeah. and I will say this meet her all these young years ago we'll mm -hmm. say young years is that it's amazing because you invite people to bring kids out that maybe never seen ballet or who might want to take it because once they see this performance of the Arizona Nutcracker, they come and start taking classes with you and they start but, being a part of, absolutely. of course, your comedy. Because we do open this up for everybody around the valley and we do have children that came to the performance last year who've never even taken a ballet class and this year they're in our Nutcracker. Oh, so that's, that's wonderful. Amazing. And Maddie grew up yeah. doing our Nutcracker and now she's our artistic director and one of our choreographers. How is that? Like you saw this as a little girl, now you're doing you were doing it, and now you're pretty much choreographing everything. How is it? It feels like a dream. <laughs> I, I've always wanted to be like a teacher and a choreographer when I grew up, so it's really special to be doing this, especially in my home studio where I grew up. Yeah. Um, we spend every Saturday at our studio um, from morning till afternoon mm -hmm. putting this all together. Yeah. So introduce who we have here, Maddie. We have our Clara here, Miss Lauren, and our Sugar Plum Fairy, Miss Sarah. I love it. And of course, you have the whole cast of Nutcracker, everybody there. Mm -hmm. Now, how long did it take you to choreograph all this this year? Um, about two of the days of the weekend yeah. to mm -hmm. completely finish everything. Some scenes are longer than others, so a lot of them were quick and easy, and some of them took a little bit more time, especially in our party scene. I've got a lot of different right. people in there. And, and some surprises, too. Right? Yeah. Right. So mm -hmm. I love it. And we have to thank all those parents out there who spend yes. the time driving the kids there from across, actually, the commu um, the valley all over. So all it's really over. nice. Absolutely. All right, let's tell people again the performances, Kimberly. Are going to be December 17th and 18th at the Madison Center for the Arts, and you can get your tickets it's on Ticketmaster.com. I like that. Us three will step okay. out of the way and we will take a little performance from the Arizona Nutcracker. <laughs> <laughs> 